What if everything we thought we knew about the beginning of the universe was wrong? What if the pillars of cosmology, the theories built over a century of observations, were beginning to crack under the weight of new evidence? Far from Earth, floating in the absolute silence of space, a time machine is sending us postcards from a past that shouldn't exist. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just discovering new stars or galaxies, it's uncovering impossibilities. And with each new image it sends us, a whisper turns into a scream, asking a terrifying and wonderful question. Will we have to rewrite the history of the cosmos? To understand why James Webb is causing such a stir, we first need to remember how we thought the universe worked. The standard model, the Big Bang Theory, is a story of cosmic creation. 13.8 billion years ago, everything that exists was compressed into an infinitely hot, dense point. Then, the bang. The universe began expanding and cooling. In the first hundreds of millions of years, the universe was a dark and simple place, filled only with a mist of gas. Slowly, gravity began its patient work. It pulled that gas together to form the first stars, small, unstable, short-lived. These stars lived and died, forging heavier elements. And only much later did those stars cluster together to form the first galaxies, small, irregular, chaotic. The formation of large, massive, well-structured galaxies like our Milky Way? That was supposed to take billions of years. A slow, gradual process, like building a cosmic cathedral, brick by brick. That was our story, logical, elegant, backed by decades of data, until now. Then James Webb opened its eyes. And in the nursery of the universe, just 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang, where we expected to find only baby galaxies, it found giants. Galaxies as massive and mature as the Milky Way. It's like finding a fully constructed, functional skyscraper minutes after the groundbreaking ceremony. Like discovering a fully grown adult one day after conception. There simply shouldn't have been enough time for that to happen. The universe shouldn't have had the raw material or the time to build such colossal structures that early. Scientists analyzing the data were stunned. And the question echoing through the halls of astrophysics institutes is, how? How did these impossible galaxies form? This challenges our entire model of galaxy formation. But the problem doesn't stop there. In fact, it gets even stranger when we look at the hearts of those galaxies. But before we continue, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Your support is vital to our mission to explore the unknown. Now, let's uncover the mystery hiding in the centers of these improbable galaxies. At the center of most large galaxies, including our own, lurks a monster. A supermassive black hole, with millions or even billions of times the mass of our sun. The theory goes that these giants also grow slowly, feeding on gas and stars over billions of years. They start small and fatten over time. But once again, James Webb defied that logic. It found fully formed supermassive black holes in the early universe. Monsters with a million solar masses already existed when the cosmos was just a baby. The math just doesn't add up. There wasn't enough time for them to grow that big, that fast. This is forcing scientists to consider ideas that once seemed like science fiction. What if these black holes didn't grow, but were born massive? What if they are primordial seeds, formed directly from the collapse of huge gas clouds in the first moments after the Big Bang, skipping the star phase entirely? A different, more violent and direct origin for the universe's monsters. If you want to dive deeper into this specific topic, click the card above and watch our video dedicated to these impossible black holes. In short, we have galaxies that shouldn't exist, populated by black holes that shouldn't be so large. But what else has James Webb found in that distant past that challenges our understanding? The answer isn't an object. It's a visual enigma, a cosmic question, literally written in the sky. Look closely. 
In the background of a detailed image of two young stars, astronomers noticed something peculiar, an object in the unmistakable shape of a question mark. The upper part, the curve, is clearly a distorted galaxy, likely the result of two galaxies merging. The gravitational interaction stretched one of them, creating that curved tail. But what about the dot, that tiny sphere of light perfectly aligned beneath the curve? Is it a third galaxy that, by an incredible cosmic coincidence, happens to be aligned just right to complete the symbol? Or is it something else? This object, billions of light years away, seems like the universe is teasing us, reminding us that for every answer we find, 10 new questions arise. We are in a golden age of exploration. Each image from Webb is a new page from a book we're still learning how to read. And so we arrive at the ultimate question, the one hanging over all these discoveries. If James Webb is finding impossible galaxies, impossible black holes, and cosmic riddles, does that mean the Big Bang Theory is wrong? The answer is more subtle and honestly more exciting. It's not about being wrong, but about being incomplete. Science is not a dogma carved in stone. It is a process, a model that is constantly tested, refined, and, if necessary, expanded. The Big Bang is still the best explanation we have for the origin and expansion of our universe. The evidence supporting it is overwhelming. What James Webb is doing is not demolishing the building, it's revealing that some of the foundations may be different than we thought. Perhaps star formation in the early universe was far more efficient and rapid. Perhaps there are physical mechanisms we don't yet understand, cosmic shortcuts that accelerate the creation of complex structures. Perhaps dark matter, the invisible web that makes up most of the universe's mass, plays a much more active and dramatic role in the early formation of galaxies than we previously imagined. This is not a crisis for science. This is an opportunity. It is the most thrilling moment to be an astronomer in generations. James Webb isn't giving us a simpler universe, but a richer one, a more complex one, and an infinitely more mysterious one. We launched this telescope into space to answer old questions about our origins, but the universe, in its silent majesty, responded in a way no one expected. It didn't give us the answers we wanted. It gave us better questions. These impossible galaxies are not a sign that science has failed. They are an invitation. An invitation to dream bigger, think bolder, and keep staring into the darkness, knowing that the greatest cosmic mysteries are still waiting to be discovered. James Webb's mission has only just begun, and our understanding of the cosmos will never be the same. What do you think explains these primordial galaxies? New physics? Black hole seeds? Drop your theory in the comments below. The universe is vast, and our journey to understand it is infinite. Thanks for watching.